Foul Satin Side Effects coming up. Sunki. Foul Satin is used to treat high blood pressure, also called hypertension, for adults and children 6 years and above. Blood pressure is the pressure of the blood and the blood vessels of our body. It is needed to pump blood all around our body by our heart to bring oxygen and nutrients all around. Blood pressure alters all the time to meet our body's needs. It changes as our body position changes, our breathing changes, if we exercise, if we sleep, and if we are in a different emotional state. Our blood pressure goes up when we are worried or stressed. Now, when our blood pressure stays higher than normal, even when we are calm or relaxed, we have hypertension. Unfortunately, there are no symptoms for hypertension. The way to find out if you have hypertension is to visit your doctor regularly. Some pharmacies also provide free blood pressure measuring services as well, so you can actually make use of them. A quick tip. I recommend that when you reach 30 years of age, to visit your local physician or doctor at least once a year for a full body checkup. High blood pressure generally develops over many years and it affects nearly everyone eventually. If high blood pressure is left untreated, it can damage our blood vessels and this may lead to a stroke, heart attack, heart failure, kidney failure, loss of vision and other problems. Many of these conditions are serious and can lead to death. So, it is very important to get your blood pressure under control. Valsartan belongs to a group of medicines called angiotensin II receptor antagonist. It is most commonly known by its brand name, Diovan. Angiotensin II is a substance in the body which causes blood vessels to narrow. When blood vessels narrow, blood pressure increases. Valsartan works by blocking the effect of angiotensin II, thus relaxes the blood vessels and causes blood pressure to go down. Valsartan is commonly prescribed by patients that can't tolerate an irritating cough that is caused by an ACE inhibitor such as perendopril and ramipril. Valsartan is also used to treat heart failure where the heart is not strong enough to pump blood all around the body and also put on people who have had a heart attack in the past to prevent further heart damage and problems. Valsartan is used either alone or in combination with other medicines used to treat high blood pressure. Combination therapy is used when used alone is not enough to bring the blood pressure down. Valsartan is often combined with hydrochlorothiazide medicine brand name like Codiovan, or with amlodipine and or hydrochlorothiazide medicine brand name called Exforge. Before you start to take it, tell your doctor if you have an allergy to valsartan or any angiotensin II receptor inhibitor in the past or to any ingredients on the lifted of valsartan. Tell your doctor if you have any heart, kidney or liver disease. If you have had a recent kidney transplant, if you have diabetes, if you recently had severe vomiting or diarrhea, if you are on a low salt diet, if you have primary aldosteronism, Crohn's syndrome, a hormone disorder causing fluid retention, tell your doctor if you are pregnant or plan to become pregnant or you are breastfeeding. Valsartan is not for someone who is pregnant or intend to become pregnant. It could affect your unborn baby and is not recommended for breastfeeding mothers as there is no information whether it will cross breast milk and there are better alternatives out there. Medication interactions. Heart disease or high blood pressure that is being treated with large doses of diuretics also called your water pill, or you are being treated with a beta blocker, aliskirind, or and ACE inhibitor medication like perindopril, ramipril. Valsartan can interact with many other medications as well, to name a few anti-inflammatories like Celebrex, Voltaren, and Endocid potassium supplements. Valsartan increases potassium in our body. Too much potassium in the body can cause chest pains, 
trouble breathing, and even more severe condition like a cardiac arrest. So you want to avoid any potassium supplement or salt substitution. Bananas contain a lot of potassium. One and a half big banana is equivalent to one six hundred milligram potassium tablet. So avoid large quantities of bananas. Only some bananas occasionally. Now these are definitely not the only interactions. So make sure your doctor and pharmacist know all the medication you are taking. This includes all the herbal supplements, vitamins, minerals that you can buy without a script in your pharmacy, in a health food store, or your supermarket. If you're concerned that your doctor and pharmacist might miss the interaction, approach your local pharmacist specifically and tell your pharmacist all the medication that you are taking. The pharmacist will be able to work out the interactions. And let you know the severity of it, and let you know what to do next. When your medication list exceeds a certain amount, and it's hard for your doctor to keep track of all the interactions and side effects, your doctor will often request for specialist pharmacists to review all the medication to optimize the usage of it. If your doctor haven't done so, you can request your doctor to do so. Dosages of Valsartan. Depending on the condition, dosages of Valsartan varies. For adults, for hypertension, the usual dose is one 80 milligram tablet once a day. If your blood pressure is still too high after four weeks, your doctor may increase the dose to 160 milligram once a day, or from 160 milligram to 320 milligram once a day. If your blood pressure is still too high, your doctor may add a different type of blood pressure lowering medication. For heart failure, the usual starting dose is 40 mg twice a day. Your doctor may increase the dose gradually up to one 160 mg tablet twice a day following her heart attack. Treatment is generally started at a dose of 20 mg, half of a 40 mg tablet twice a day. Your doctor may increase the dose gradually up to 160 mg twice a day. How to take it? when to take it. Swallow the tablet with a drink of water. It does not matter if you take it before or after food, as long as you take it in the same way each day. If your stomach is upset after taking it, take it after food. How long to take it? It will take at least four weeks for the medicine to have its full effect. After your review with the doctor, the doctor will tell you how long to take it. This is usually a long-term medication as it doesn't cure but only control the symptoms. Now, because high blood pressure doesn't show any symptoms, it's easy for us to forget and think that you are fine until it's too late. So you need to drill it in your mind to make it a habit to take it daily. Now make sure you have enough to last you over the weekends and public holidays. For best effect, take it on the same time every day. This will help you to remember it as well. If you still have trouble remembering to take it, set an alarm to ring at the same time every day to remind you. Depending on the brand you are using, if you are using the original brand Dioven, it comes in a calendar pack with the days of the week marked on it to help you to remember to take your tablet each day. Take the one marked with the correct day of the week, such as if it's a Tuesday, take the tablet marked Tuesday. What if you forget to take it? If you forget to take it, if it is almost time to take your next dose, skip the dose you missed and take your next dose when you are meant to. Otherwise, take it as soon as you remember and then go back taking your medicine as you would normally. Do not take a double dose as it will increase the chances of you getting side effects. If you're unsure, talk to your doctor or your pharmacist. Now, while you're taking Dialvin, things you must do. If you become pregnant while you're taking it, you need to tell your doctor immediately. You should not be taking this if you're pregnant. Keep all your doctor's appointments so that your doctor can monitor your progress. This is very, very important. Do this even if you feel well. Remember, we can't feel that when our blood pressure is too high. Your doctor will want to check your blood pressure, your kidney and liver function from time to time and alter the dose accordingly. Now, remember this, the doctor is going to alter the dose of the medication based on the blood pressure he measured. So if you for any reason forgotten to take your medication, you need to let your doctor know. 
Otherwise, the doctor may think that the dose is not effective and alter the treatment unnecessarily. Side effects. Now, these are some of the common side effects of Valsartan. It is usually mild and short-lived, dizziness and lightheadedness. If Valsartan makes you dizzy and lightheaded when you stand up, to avoid this, flex your leg muscles and toes to get the blood flowing and try and get up slowly. If possible, hold on to something. If you're getting out of bed, dangle your leg over the side for a few minutes or two before you stand up. If you are still dizzy, sit back down until you feel better to avoid any falls. Do not drive or operate machineries or do something that is dangerous until you know how this medication affects you. If you begin to feel dizzy while you're standing, lie down so you don't faint, then sit until you feel better. Now, this lightheadedness when you stand up too quickly is called orthostatic hypotension. It usually happens when you just started the medication or when there is a dose increase. And once you stabilize on the dose, it usually will go away. The lightheadedness and dizziness happens as well, especially if you are taking a diuretic, also known as a fluid tablet, or in a case if you're dehydrated. So if you're exercising and sweat, or if the weather is hot, remember to replenish yourself with water. Now, if this problem continues or gets worse, talk to your doctor. Headache. Now, headache should only last for one week. If it goes longer than that, you need to see your doctor. Within this week, things that you can do is drink plenty of water, avoid drinking alcohol, and ask your pharmacist to recommend a painkiller for you feeling sick or nauseous. If this happens to you, avoid rich and spicy food. Eat smaller meals and drink water in between of meals instead of with meals. And try and take this medication after a meal or snack. Being sick, vomiting or diarrhea. Drink plenty of water to prevent dehydration. If you feel sick and you feel like you want to vomit, take small frequent sips of water to avoid the vomiting being triggered. If you get severe diarrhea or vomiting from a stomach bug or illness, let your doctor know immediately. You may need to stop taking Valsartan for a while until you feel better. Pain in the joints or muscles. If you get unusual muscle pains, weakness or tiredness that isn't from exercise or hard work, contact your doctor. You may need a blood test to check what might be causing the problem. The above side effects are usually mild and it should go away. If it doesn't go away or if it's severe, contact your doctor. Now, there are some serious side effects that you need to contact your doctor immediately, but these side effects are really rare. Yellow skin or eyes. This can be a sign of liver problems called jaundice. Pale skin, feeling tired, faint or dizzy, purple spots, any signs of bleeding, sore throat and fever, these can be signs of blood or bone marrow disorder. Weakness and irregular heartbeat, pins and needles and muscle cramps. These can be signs of changes of the sodium and potassium levels in your blood. Now, if you experience any of the below side effects, you need to stop the medication immediately and send yourself to the closest emergency department of the hospital. An anaphylaxis allergic reaction. Symptoms include shortness of breath, wheezing or difficulty breathing, swelling of the face, lips, tongue or other parts of the body, rash, itching or hives of the skin, a fast or irregular heartbeat. More side effects information can be found on the leaflet of the medication. I will also put a link down below for you so you have access to them. Now even then, the list of side effects there are not complete. New side effects can pop up. So if you experience any side effects that is not listed there, you can always report it to your country's medicine regulatory agency. In the US, it's called FDA MedWatch. In UK, it's called Yellow Card. And in Australia, it's TGA. In this channel, I've also made other medication and health related videos to help keep your body strong and healthy. It is a growing library of medication and health information. Besides a pharmacist, I'm also a singer, songwriter, music producer, and an actress. If you're interested in knowing my other life, check me out on my other videos in my other playlist. 
Now, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button now and thumbs up and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. My handle is at SunkiOfficial and it's your thumbs up, Sunki here with lots of love. See you around.